Hello all of you. Today we are going to discuss how to get Drupal custom content type data in home page. So our aim is to fetch that values, custom content type values and display in the home page using PHP variable. So first you have to fetch that data and you have to assign to the PHP variable and we have to pass to the corresponding page. So let's start. Here we have already installed Drupal 8.5 version and we have created a custom content type blog and we be having content here. So our aim is to display this content in home page. So how we can do that? So this is our home page. We have to display in this area whatever the value inside custom content type blog. So in this last video, we already created a custom template, orange theme. If you have any doubt, you can visit my last video. Here we having template for home page. And this is the home page template and we have a theme here this is the theme inside theme root we having orange theme dot theme function so these two function we are going to edit here we are hook we are going to create this is actually hook for home page before going to home page it will come here and go so for that we what you have to write is function theme name and preprocessor page this is the function name to hook the pages so if it is not we can we can give preprocess node so next is to fetch content from database so this is actually drupal query drupal entity query and we are spraying node because this boss type is a node and condition we are specifying it is a blog here we have a content type blog so we have displayed here blog so entity query node condition you can add more condition like status equal to one all this thing instead of this I added only condition type equal to blog so fetch all the nodes with the type equal to blog then sort by created list descending or ascending or descending pain here this it will show the latest one first and you are giving limit 0 to 5 and execute then this all value we are assigning to a variable node block and we are passing to the tick function using this variable node block so if you don't done like this if you go for home page and if you call this node block automatically whatever the value inside the node block it will, will get here this actually tick function tick page so using tick for if we are fetching data one by one and we are displaying the title value here we are displaying the title value we are saying this and we'll go to performance and clear cache here we have configuration and performance clear cache then we are going to refresh the page a little bit slow It's refreshing. We'll check it out how the data is displaying. We have given h2 tag inside the div. We are displaying the title of the node. Still it is loading. This is the node. We'll check it out this node. Content type is equal to post. See the data is coming right one two three four all the data from this my latest first will come 
so you can change place letters to equal to descending automatically it will come in a descending order if you limit this to three it will come three value and you having body part here body i'm going to change for testing block this I'm going to save and next is what we are going to do we are displaying the body also so that what you have to do is test you have to give double brace node block instead of title you have to give body again you have to clear cache Your page is refreshing. So this is a custom content type block. So inside structure, here only we created custom content type. still it is loading see the structure again here we have p tag and h2 tag for displaying the title and p tag for displaying the body see it's coming here right we are getting title and the description So this is a structure we we'll go to content type here you can see blog data manage field actually this machine i'm already we are giving the so here we have to give the mission name to display the body here this is testing log we can edit here we are displaying four three two one here testing log body we are going to edit And after that, we have to save that. Clear cache. It's updated. Clearing cache. And after that, we have to refresh the page. Here we having p tag is coming to remove that another tag from the text HTML editor you will give slash raw so it will remove that p tag again we are refreshing the page a little bit slow my system is hanging I think So you can see that p tag is removed and the data is coming from the body tag so so simple right when we are using for loop and node block we are getting so node block means actually we will get whatever the 
value inside the custom content type so this value we are going to display there so this way you can use any other pages inside the page also you can use the same variable only so automatically if you use node block inside any pages because we are hooking the page so whatever page we need to add the block custom content type in the footer you can add this using this variable nodes block hope you understood if you have any doubt you can comment in my comment section i'll add this query in description so that you can copy and you can change based on your own way you can use your own blog type and your own data or your published status or something you need to pass in this extra condition you can apply thank you for listening